It's got to be that. Skip, look at the draft capital they gave up to get him. They gave up DJ Moore, two first round, two first rounders, a second round in 23 and 25 to Chicago just to move up to get select this kid. So that's the expectation. When you go quarterback and you go that high, that's the that's the Elways, that's the Bradshaw, the Aikman, the Mannings. It is. That's reserved. That you're in, you, that's those are the expectations. Agreed. Now he's gonna have the Joe Burrow. Now Burrow had you know he had T Higgins, he had Jamar Chase, Uzama, Mixon, mm -hmm. Boy, yeah. Samaj P Ryan. You're gonna have to get him some pieces to surround him with. Yeah. But Skip, that's the ex expectations that you have to have for Bryce Young, and I don't think that's I don't think that's asking too much. I understand he's small in stature, but Skip, if you watch this kid play, he has it all. He has touch. He uh, he has he has good enough velocity. Uh, he has the ability to beat you from the pocket. He can beat you from outside of the pocket. He has legs. He doesn't want to run. He's looking if he's take if he takes off, he's looking to push the ball down the field. But he'll take off and get five six yards at the first down if he needs to. So I, I agree with David Tepper. The the the, the ceiling is uh, uh, the Super Bowl. That's what should be expected when you give up what we gave up to get it. Hurt Super Bowl appearance, Skip, A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, Dallas Goddard, the running game. You're going to have to surround him with pieces. No question about that. Now, how soon can you get those pieces? Because uh, they were talking to, like, the last piece that Chicago wanted was D.J. Moore. Why? Because they got a young quarterback. They do. And, and you see, what, what did they just do for Lamar, Skip? They went and got Odell in free agency. They drafted the receiver number one. They drafted the receiver last year number one. You see, okay, how good can our quarterback be? Yeah. Joe Burrow was really good as rookie year got hurt. Oh, let's go get him his team, college teammate, Jamar Chase. Yep. We see the, the steps that Josh Allen took once he got Stephon Diggs, Gabe Davis on one side. Now you just got another tight end to go with Dawson Knox, Dalton Kincaid. I like the pick for Carolina. It show, but Skip, you remember they, uh, when they first, uh, C.J. Stroud and everybody showed up? Does that mean? I said, it don't mean nothing. That means they're going to take Bryce Young <laughs> yeah. because Bryce Young is the best quarterback in this draft. I mean, there were speculation they were going to take Will Levis, who, who's now fallen no. completely out of the first round. And you see, now you see how Vegas did it? Yeah. Because that red, uh, uh, oh, look at it. It's all the way down to plus 1,000. Okay. All Vegas did say, well, thank you. Appreciate that little free money y'all gave us. Yep. That's how they keep building. That's, Skip, you do realize they're not building those three, four, five billion dollar buildings out mm -hmm. there with winner's money. Nope. So, can you see Bryce Young making perennial Pro Bowls, multiple Pro Bowls? I think he has a better chance to make it in the NFC. Now, you got to look at what's in the NFC. Ain't nothing in the NFC now, Skip, because everything's in the AFC. Yeah. Look at all the quarterbacks. Mahomes, Allen, uh, uh, Lawrence, Herbert. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, let me go one step further up the ladder. Aaron Rodgers. Can you see him annually ranked graded as a top five quarterback in the National Football League. Once he get pieces, I don't, I mean, I, I, I can't name who's, who's, a, I can't name one receiver that's there, Skip. I can't name the tight end. I can't name the running back. He's going to have to get some pieces. So what, 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 where do they go now? Okay, you got your quarterback. Maybe that's why Baker Mayfield struggled. I don't do that. There you go. There you go. See? I do. So I... You, you set yourself up for that one. Okay. He had D.J. Moore, though. D.J. Moore was struggling until they got P.J. Walker in there. Yeah. This is true. But Baker had some moments. No. Yes. When? First At two Oklahoma? Games. First two games. He lost. Yeah. He was great. Especially the opener against you going to say that man was great in a losing effort. Well, he was. And they got hosed at the end they of the game the whole by two team. calls. <laughs> Okay, back to the question at hand. A fresh face in Carolina, Bryce Young. They paid a steep price for him, and it will be worth every last ounce. He is very special to me, and I've watched him a whole lot, and I am concluded on him. I am convicted on him because I saw him in big stage, big high-pressure games, yeah. national, big national TV games at Alabama. Or Coach Saban, and he rose above every game I ever saw him play. He has extraordinary poise and command of the position, and it's the hardest position by far to play in all sports, and he commands it. He owns it when he plays it. He has superior vision and anticipation and feel for how to anticipate the rush and the receivers breaking open. 
And to your point, his his velocity is a, a, a at least give it above average because yeah, it, sure. it's not. It, I think he has more velocity than Brady had or Montana had. And, and again, they did just fine with with mm -hmm. pretty good arms. But but he has a little better arm than those guys had because he can sling it, man, right. with, with some serious velocity. Yeah. When when he calls upon the velocity, it's there. But to your point, when it's just a touch pass that was, is required, some sort of lob pass, some sort of rainbow, he can do all that, too. Yes. He's got all the touch passes. In the end, what did I love the most about him? I loved his football character because on the biggest stage in the biggest game, he showed me clutch guts. Yeah. Late throws where you'd say, what? Where he'd just pull a rabbit out of his helmet. You know, like he did that. Yeah. It will translate. Yeah. All, all that works because he showed you. You can just watch the tape. He's a done deal to me. You remember that game they played against Auburn? Do Hill? I? And they went to win the triple. They were done. They were done. And yeah. he, I mean, he goes down. He goes, hadn't really done anything the whole day. And then he goes 93 yards and throws the game, throws the game tying touchdown. To a and, freshman. To, yes. Yeah. And then now he gets the triple overtime and then he hits a, a Mechie and they walk it off. I mean, and you look at, I mean, he's a and I mean, he just, he's, he, I don't think I can honestly say that I've watched the game in his two years of starting and I say they lost the game because Bryce Young didn't play well. Yeah, correct. Same. Agreed. Okay. So given all that. Yes. I, I do think he will be somewhat to a whole lot better than C.J. Stroud. And that's no disrespect to C.J. Right. I'm just talking about th th just th think this, he's is, th this is rare, yeah. what, what you're seeing here. Mm -hmm. Is it ideal that this young man is 5 feet 10 inches tall? It is not ideal. No. Because even Drew Brees was seen as a small quarterback. Yeah. And I've stood next to Drew Brees. I don't know if you have. I have. And, and he's a full 6 feet tall to me. Right. D maybe because I'm not. But, but he, I, you know, I look at <laughs> right. him like... Wait a second. Right. You're, you're not small. Mm -hmm. This kid is by all these standards. He's small. Right. But he's put together where he has a sturdiness about yeah. him. He has a sort of sinewy strength to yeah. him. Yeah, he's where, wiry built. Yeah, he's wiry built. And as his trainer, I read the quotes from his, his one of the Alabama trainers, or doc, I think it was the team surgeon, said, you know, he, he's the one quarterback we's had, we've had here who he never got hurt. Right. Because he gets out of harm's way. Right. His legs, the, look, he, he, we're not talking about Lamar and Michael Vick, but, right. but when he needs to they call upon know. the legs, the, the, he's got burst to right. him. He has burst. He can burst from the pocket. He can gash you. Well, you, might, you can stop talking about his height now because yeah. he's 20, 21 years of age. He ain't growing no more. Okay, he's not going to grow. Okay, he is <laughs> so what he, he is. He, he even hit a growth first gift and all of a sudden be 6'3 okay. in a year. All right. Again, do I love it? No. How can you love it? But you have to create some lanes with, right. by, by you, you, you have to move. Right. You have to have pocket feet. Brady yeah. had great pocket feet, but his... But he's 6'4", he can throw over the top. He can throw over the top. Uh, yeah. uh, but you look at the guys that have, that have, that have made it in this league. You look yeah. at Drew Brees. Yep. I mean, offensive player of the year, all these 5,000 yeah. yards, he won a Super Bowl. Yeah. Russell Wilson. It's not like Russell Wilson 6'3", 6'4", no. but he's found, a way to, he's found a way to succeed in this league. Okay. And I... I it's going to be been 5'10 his life. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> okay. Here's my big picture takeaway from all of the above. Hardest position to play. Mm -hmm. He plays at an extraordinary, he maybe does. even a transcendent level. I believe perennial Pro Bowls. Maybe easier, you know, easier in the NFC, but no, no weapons yet. They'll, they'll have to mix and match around him. Now, sure. now people are going to want to go play with him because yeah. he will get you the rock. Yes. But the point is, my biggest takeaway is I sit back and say, how could Chicago pass on him? I don't know because he's just better than Justin Fields. And, and I respect Justin Fields. Justin Fields ran the football in ways I didn't think were possible. But look at what that hallway they got. Okay. So but, now you put that with Justin Fields, you got something, Skip. No. You got something. Okay, but what do I always tell you? It, it all starts and finishes with the quarterback. Well, they got and, him to weapon, so he's he going he to be all right. You think so? Yeah. Will he be ever as good as Bryce Young will be? What's your gut feeling on that? Ever as good as Bryce Young. I think you're leaning no. No, but I but I'm 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 leaning because I trust Chicago's general managers more more than I trust. And I and I love I love what the Panthers did in acquiring Bryce Young. But how soon can they put pieces around him, Skip? 
How can, can they protect him? Okay, all valid questions I, the, that I can't answer at this moment because nobody can. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do. Do I trust their, their management? No, I don't. But I do trust this kid, and I think he will rise above this and attract free agents, right. and, and th they'll figure it out on the fly. I just think it starts and finishes with that guy. If you've got that guy and his leadership character, yes. it, it, it's such a huge start that you're going to have an advantage over Justin Fields all the way for the next, God knows how long, 10, 15 years, they're going to be in position A and Justin will be in position B. And it's not a bad position to be in B. Well, I think the thing is, Skip, but you look at, look at the division, um, neither division, I mean, when you look at the NFC South, I mean, well, what quarterback are we talking about? Desmond Ritter? Yeah. We talking about who, who, Breaker Mayfield in Tampa? Or are we talking about, uh, I don't know, who Jameis went? I mean, uh, Derek Carr? Yep. It's, it's not like I, it's, I it's, it. it's murderous row. Nope, it's not murderous row. It's winnable. It's for, <laughs> there for the yeah. taking. I, I got it. I'm just saying, and I have a lot of friends in Chicago, and I once covered the Bears for the Chicago Tribune, so I know their history. I'm just saying, to me, if I had that, that kid sitting in my lap, yeah. I just say, I'm taking Bryce Young and I'm going to figure this out because somebody's going to want Justin Fields. I don't know if I can get a one for him. Right. Maybe I could. Maybe I could, right. depending on what the temperature was around right. the league because he played very well last year, but he's never going to be as good to me as Bryce Young. And, and that it's all about the quarterback. It's just start, finish with the quarterback. Yeah. Okay? It's, it's, just, it's just different. Like, you look at basketball – if, if I got a great power, and, 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 you know, the Lakers didn't do it because they're like, well, we're not going to take Jason, Jason uh, Tatum yeah. because we already got Drew Randall and we got B.I. Yeah. So, we, I mean, oh, we, it's not like we can play three, you know, three no, small. No, can't. No. Or when Houston, they got a, they took Ralph Sampson one year. Elijah, we, t we, we taking him because we can slide Ralph Sampson to the, to the uh, forward yep. and put, it, put Dream at the center. It, but it, it, it worked. It worked. Yeah. It went to, got to the they, NBA Finals in 86. Yeah. But as a quarterback, skip mm -hmm. any other position, you can take. Yeah. Just quarterback, you can't. No. <laughs> you can't. It's, it's, it's the name of your game. It is. Okay. But I like Bryce Young. The Panthers Jones. are throwing yeah. a party today in Charlotte, guys. It starts <laughs> at noon. They're inviting fans to come to the stadium to welcome Bryce Young before Good. his introductory press conference. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.